Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise here to do another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be about um, exploring and embracing our shadow sides. Very exciting, very deep subject. So before we begin, make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. This, these are all general readings, so if they resonate with you, I'm really excited by it. Make sure you do comment below, like this video, all of your likes, comments, and subscribes helps me build this channel. If it doesn't resonate with you, there are two other readings that you can definitely watch and see if those resonate with you. Um, also, if love becomes a part of the reading today, my default is reading to a female about a male, so pronouns are interchangeable. He's can be she's, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them or they, whatever is going on in your life, whatever applies. Um, also, make sure that you do check out my website. It's witchofboise, all one word, dot com. Okay, so let's begin. We have three choices. We have choice number one, two, three. Pick a cat and a cat. We're going to start with number one. Okay, so number one, I had two songs come out for you. And the first one was Tonight You Belong to Me by Nancy Sinatra. And then number two was Lovely Blood Flow by Baths. So let's look at your cards. Okay. So our, we have the um, six of swords. And that's going to be clarified by the king of pentacles in reverse. Then we have the six of pentacles in reverse being clarified by the sun. We have the chariot in reverse being clarified by the page of wands in reverse. Then we have the eight of cups being clarified by the high priestess in reverse. Then we have the ten of cups in reverse being clarified by the hanged man in reverse. Okay. So you, your shadow side has, is very detached. You're able to leave situations and leave people really, really easily. Um, even when you, and this kind of feels like this is just like your reaction. It's a fight or flight. Yours is flight. Like, let me just get out of here. I can start again. I don't have to deal with this. Even when your intuition is telling you, like, you don't need to, you, you just need to fix this problem. You're just, I'm done. I'm out. And it's like a disconnect. There's a definite disconnect that's going on. Um, I feel like you also feel like you don't deserve things. You don't deserve to have that happiness. Or even looking at like what you have and like a negative aspect in that sense. Um, you don't look at things from a different perspective. It's pretty like black and white. So if something's not going completely your way, then that's like one of your triggers of like it either get, it needs to go my way or I'm out. And people know that about you where it's that's you're not very flexible. Um, it looks like that you either are a giver or you are a receiver. You are not both. So whichever applies to you, you're 100% in that and you enjoy that. So, um, you, so that can be that you enjoy giving gifts, but you do not like to be receiving gifts. It really just, you don't like the energy that's towards you in that sense. And again, like it can be the reverse where you don't like giving, you like to be receiving gifts and not giving them. Um, it feels like just by these cards that this is kind of like an earth sign energy. So like a masculine, um, uh, because of the king of pentacles in reverse. And that's what I'm getting with that, like being able to move on. This can be also something that has happened in your past. This can be a family member that has been a deep rooted issue or a relationship of someone that is an earth sign, a masculine earth sign. So that is Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Um, 
Also, it feels like that you, a, another shadow side of yourself is not being able to focus. And that really is that kind of stopping energy. You can't balance things. You can't go straight forward through something. If you're moving forward, it's usually away from a problem. You're not moving at the problem to fix it. Um, and you don't have any passion to do it. You don't have any fire or will to want to fix this. Okay, so then you got crow in reverse, and it's um, in this deck it's contrary, and it's a rebel. Um, you feel like you can cheat a little bit on things. That can be even like you're at a club and you make out with someone, or you like hold someone's hand, and it's it's just a little bit. You didn't go all the way, um, and you don't feel like that's a bad thing. But um, there's also, the that was in the book, promises are made to be broken. So you have a hard time keeping those promises. Um, and the only loser out of the situation really is you. And with that cheating a little too, that is also, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're a cheater in a relationship, but it's cheating on yourself. So like if you're on a regiment of I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to get active and do all this stuff. And then you're like, mm, this whole cheesecake, it's just, it's just cheating a little bit. You're just cheating yourself when you start to do that kind of actions. So it looks like that it's that sly kind of like, I gotta get, mm, I want to have everything and I want it my way. Okay, so you're, um, crystal reading card is coaxinite and that's new beginnings. That's the one thing that is really, really great about your shadow side that this moving forward stuff that you are able to like leave people, you're able to just move on. You can start a new life. You're not afraid of that. And that's a really good side of yourself that new beginnings do not scare you. Change doesn't scare you as bad as other people do because of what your shadow side really does. All right, so then we have 10 Neptune Sacrifice. And then we have number 39 Air Element Communicating. So I'm getting, at least with the communicating, this is your issue. This is one of the things that you need to really embrace doing when things start to not go your way um, or go in the direction that you see you're supposed to be going. Um, it, you need to communicate with other people. You need to let them know instead of just being like, nope, done, bye. Um, it's very much a huge communication issue. And that can actually really solve a lot of your problems with it. And I know sometimes it is really hard to communicate exactly what you're feeling. But again, like journaling and doing all of that, getting your thoughts collected can really help communicate that at least to yourself and to others. And with the Neptune sacrifice, I'm really kind of getting that with that six of pentacles energy. I feel like you sacrifice a lot of yourself and I think that's why like people hurt you and that's when you're just like, nope, you're going to take advantage of me. I'm done. And like with that six of pentacles kind of energy that is because it's in the reverse and it is that shadow side of it. I feel like you are a giver. I feel like a lot of you that are watching this are a giver. And so you just give and give and give. And then you feel like you're sacrificing a piece of yourself. And sometimes it even isn't in your benefit where you don't need to be giving that much. And um, it's that's a part of your shadow side where you give too much to others and people take. And you get to a point without communicating what's going on that you might be feeling taken advantage of. And then you just leave. So, all right. Um, let me go over your songs really quick. Um, the first one tonight, You Belong to Me by Nancy Sinatra. I know you belong to somebody new, but tonight you belong to me. So this is also showing me kind of a possessive energy. You're giving and giving, giving to people, but then you're assuming that you are like you possess them. So you feel you view people a lot of times as possessions and not people in their own entity. 
And then we have Lovely Blood Flow by The Baths. And it says, kick up my shit, you want to rustle these leaves, get me so red, you want to ruffle these feathers, you are my blood flow baby, lovely blood flow. You know how to push people's buttons. You know what you want and that is very evident with these cards and that's where you're like, I want what I want, if I don't get it, then I'm going to leave, I'm out of here. And you know how to read people and you know what buttons to push that will torque them off. You ruffle people's feathers with it. And that's kind of how you a little bit bully your way to get what you're wanting. All right, guys, that is it. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below. Tell me if it resonates with you. We are on two. Number two. Okay, let me just put these cards. Oops. Down. All right, so we're exploring and embracing our, your shadow self. Okay, so your first card is the hermit in reverse. That's being clarified by the three of cups in reverse. Then we have the 10 of wands in reverse, being clarified by the world in reverse. This is the page of swords in reverse, being clarified by these seven of pentacles. Then we have the six of cups being clarified by the king of cups. Then we have the five of pentacles in reverse, being clarified by the magician. And then we have the Seven of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Rabbit, number 30, upright. And then number 37, Antelope, in the contrary. And then we have the Awakening Crystal, Emotional Healing. The Hedonite, Gratitude. And then got a lot of cards. We have the number 11, Pluto Transformation, and then number six, Saturn Truth. Okay. And your songs were She Loves You, The Beatles, and God Bless Our Dead Marines by the Silver Mountain Zion. Okay. So we're in exploring embracing your shadow self. You do really well with other people. I feel like you are also like a people pleaser. You want to know what other people think about you. You do not, you like, you're a past dweller. You like to really dwell on the past. But um, going back to this other people and trying to be a people pleaser, um, you are really one-sided on that, where it's it's wanting the opinions of other people solely on yourself, but not really wanting their opinion on their own stuff. You're really kind of self-centered in that, in that sense. Um, it doesn't feel like you complete a lot of stuff. You're a procrastinator. You start a lot of projects and then you just don't finish them. You're very emotional and this is, this is a big, um, it's, I, I'm, I want to say issue, but this is just a big standpoint of your shadow self where you don't have a grasp of a lot of your emotions. Your emotions are a roller coaster. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with past traumas. And, um, you, that's why you are a past dweller. You like to live not in the present, not in the future. You are in the past. Um, it feels like that you're really, um, yeah, you, you don't, you don't finish a lot of stuff and you kind of wonder why you don't get a lot of accomplished. You have a lot of really great ideas, but you, you're not getting them going. You start a little bit and then you quit because it either gets too hard or you just quit. Um, and it feels like that you're, you're in like that headspace of um, of negativity of like things aren't going my way or things are never 
it's never good at my life. And you're really kind of defensive on that and you get a, you get defensive when people might show positives that are happening in your life and you you might be that negative Nancy where you're constantly like just saying negative stuff. And I think that's the problem too that you might have issues with keeping friendships and being in relationships with other people because of that negative aspect. If you start to say like for an example, I baked banana bread this week and then you say at the end of it, but it was disgusting, it was awful and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's it's changing your mind shift and it might have been gross. It might have not been the best banana bread that you ever made. But it, you just say, instead, I made banana bread this weekend. It wasn't the best, but I'm really, it made me happy doing it and I had a good time. And I know, I think I know what I'm going to do different the next time. It's things like that. It's changing your outlook and it just feels like very negative, negative Nancy. Um, and... For rabbit, rabbit's all about fear. And this is paralyzing fear. And that's the fear I'm getting of not being able to accomplish things, not being able to move forward with stuff. I feel like you start a lot of projects and you you are, you can be very successful with what you're trying to do and move forward with it. But I feel like that there's a fear of what happens if this is actually takes off. What am I going to do? And I feel like you just kind of go back into the past energy and saying that, well, in the past I failed and it was a really awful feeling and I don't ever want to fail again. Well, guess what? <laughs> you got it. You have to fail. That's a lesson. You don't view them as failures. And that's kind of where this like disconnect is is that we need to treat failures as lessons and not as failures so we can continue to move forward. Now, the antelope in reverse is, um, the contrary, is um, procrastination. It's a lack of conviction. If you have a desire, you need to make a decision and, go and do it. So you need to follow through with what you're doing and stop this procrastination because there is a big block that's going on and it has to do with past issues. So um, if you have past issues, I would highly suggest getting some, um, going to a counselor, getting some therapy, really processing what has happened in the past in order for you to move forward. Now, there's emotional healing that needs to be happening because that there is such a huge emotional issue that is in your shadow side. And hiddenite gratitude, it's making sure that you're thankful for things and thankful for what you have because I feel like you do not do that at all. All right. And then we have Saturn truth. So it's being honest with yourself being honest and truthful to yourself. And I feel like that can be also something that might be in your detriment where it's with other people where you might be negative and you might say negative things that are truthful. And that might be something where people do not, they don't want to hear that, you know? So it's that kind of like line where you need to know what you can and cannot say. And it can be make sure that you come from a truthful place, yes, but just know that sometimes the truth does hurt and it hurts you as well as others. So sometimes you just need to keep things to yourself even when it is truthful. And then we have number 11, transformation Pluto. So there needs to be an emotional transformation that can help the shadow side of yourself get to that point. The biggest issue I'm seeing is that emotional um, barrier, but also that procrastination and people pleasing that needs to really, we need to figure out what's going on and accept that maybe you are a people pleaser, but you also need to please yourself as well. Okay. So your song quotes, so, uh, she loves you. The Beatles, she said she, you hurt her. So she almost lost her mind, but now she says she knows you're not the hurting kind. And I feel like that is that emotional issue. You lash out, you hurt people's feelings by being truthful 
or you realize the truth when it's way too late and it hurts people. But then you are, you have that really sweet um, personality that people know that you aren't doing it intentionally. The close people that know you. I think a lot of like general people that don't know you, it feels like you're being really mean and mean spirited when you actually aren't. Um, the second one, which is the God Bless Our Dead Marines by the Silver Mount Zion. A lot of, this is, this song is about a lot of loss. Again, that emotional issue. And the song ends with, when the world is sick, can't no one be well? But I dreamt we was all beautiful and strong. So it's, it's changing that mindset and being more positive. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I have for you for number two. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, and we are on to number three. All right, number three, let me get your cards out. We are exploring and embracing your shadow self today. And you got a ton of cards. So let's just dive into it. You have the four of swords being clarified by the emperor in reverse. That four of swords is in reverse as well. You have the six of wands in reverse being clarified by the devil in reverse. Then we have the two of wands in reverse being clarified by the six of pentacles in reverse. And we have the wheel of fortune in reverse being clarified by the five of wands. Then we have the seven of cups in reverse being clarified by the queen of wands. And then we have the king of cups in reverse being clarified by the nine of swords. Then we have 11, which is moose. Oh, you have a lot of cards. You had petrified wood, ancestors. You had black obsidian, the shadow. You had Libyan gold tectite, which is manifestation, and then amethyst, meditation. Then you had 43 lunar eclipse, change. Number five, Mars, force. Number nine, Uranus, genius. Number 48, Yod, destiny. And then 13 Aries I am this is big Aries energy fire energy for sure so your songs as well was Space Olympics by the Lonely Island which it's a comedy song it's funny and then the rip by Portis Head so this feels like you're really a go 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 person but you also do not want you don't like having life unfold. You are a controlling personality. You have your hands on everything. And if things do not go your way, it's not good. Um, it feels like you are constantly trying to be a dictator of your destiny. So you're not letting life happen. You want something to happen. You want life to do something or go into a different path. Maybe you're like the traditional sense, I want to get married, have kids, this, that, and the other, and it's not working out for you. It's that kind of energy where you're, you're forcing to go this way and it's the universe is like, no, you have other lessons to learn and you do not like that. You also are really down on yourself when you don't succeed. You are a sore loser sore loser. There is a lot of energy of um, really feeling down on yourself. You don't like having different options. You know what you want and you go that way and there's no wavering from it. You are not flexible at all. So um, yeah, there's no waiting. You don't wait. You just go. And um, there was, I believe it was number one, had the six of um, pentacles in reverse. And that was about that they were um, giving, they were giving, you are a receiver, you don't like giving anything you don't, that is not your MO, you do not like to give, you want everything to be received to you. 
Now, the hugest part of this, and this is why you have a lot of the shadow side instances, is because of your self-esteem that moves. It's recognize your accomplishments and the ones that have helped you through those. So you are... You, it, it, how do I say this in a nice way? You are very selfish in the sense of um, that someone has may, may have helped you, but not as much as you would have liked. And they you don't give them the credit that they did. You know, if they showed up to something that you that you were throwing like a party or whatever, and you showed they showed up but they didn't do what you wanted them to do, that's a detriment because then you're like, well, you didn't do that. Well, hey, they did the first step and that was showing up. And you don't know what happens in other people's lives, but you're very controlling. And this shadow instance, this is, you need to be doing shadow work. This shadow is following you. This has been an ancestral thing too. So this is something that is in your bloodline. This shadow is following you from that. So you really need to focus on doing that shadow work. Meditation is one of those things that just is really going to help you through that. And um, with manifestation, if you are not getting the, the success and what you are wanting to happen, that's because you're being too big of a control freak. You can't, you have to let the universe do it. And the longer you hold on to it, the longer you're going to have to wait. So it, you need to let go of that control. Um, change is going to happen and it's not going to be the way that you're wanting it. So you need to make sure that you get that little bit of flexibility. Be able to do plan A and plan B. Start to do that instead of I'm on focused on this one goal. And it's just brute force. You know, that Aries is a huge energy that's coming through this. And um, we have, you're very, very smart. And I feel like with um, this Uranus energy and the genius aspect, you know how to manipulate people. Um, you know how to read people. You know how to get under people's skin. And it's, this is almost, I'm almost getting two-faced in that, in that instance where you, you try to manipulate this situation to your way. It's your way or the highway. And, um, it's, it is awful when you don't get the thing that you want and, and how you're wanting it. But just know that destiny is, is happening. And in order to see destiny, you got to let go. You got to let go of it and stop forcing it because change will come. Okay, so for the Space Olympics, it's it's a comedy song about Space Olympics and everything gets canceled. It's a funny song, but um, it has sprinkled throughout so many inspirational quotes, which is reach for the stars, you're a winner, believe in yourself. So it's, and I think a lot of this like energy where you start to get and try to be controlling, it's a self-esteem issue problem. There's an issue that's within yourself and that's that shadow side that's overcompensating it and trying to make you strong because that, that insecurity, that um, self-esteem is down. It's, it's not great. And so that shadow side kicks in and it's like, guess what? We're gonna be doing it this way and it can be really, really harsh. And then we have The Rip by Portis Head. I take on myself and the bitterness I felt. I realize that love flows. Wild white horses, they will take me away. And the tenderness I feel will send the dark underneath. Will I follow? So again, it's that it's you have your shadow side is a little bit out of control. So it is time to really dive into that shadow work. Embrace the energies that it is because you're a boss ass bitch. Like that's what this shadow energy is. But behind that is a really scared um, self esteem issued person. So you need to really work on your light side and getting that self esteem up. And then you can have that echoes of shadow self. 
All right, guys, that is it. That's all I have for you for number three. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. Again, I know that some of the these readings, it's really hard to hear it. It is the truth. It's the shadow side. Some people don't want to hear the shadow side at all, but I appreciate you guys for all of your support and watching. Make sure you do check out my website, witchofboise.com. Also, make sure that you do follow me on Instagram at Witch of Boise, Twitter at Witch of Boise, and Facebook at Witch of Boise. All right, guys, thanks so much for your support, and I'll hang out with you soon. Bye.